that he would force the military to commit war crimes. Said about women, you have to treat them like shit. Proposed to create a database system to track Muslims in the U.S. said a U.S. born judge couldn't be impartial because of his Mexican heritage. Advocated assassinating terrorists' families. Advocated waterboarding as punishment even if it doesn't help gain information because they deserve it anyway. Said women should be punished for having abortions. Urged supporters to beat up protesters at his rallies. Made fun of a reporter's physical disability. Promised to deport U.S. citizens whose parents immigrated illegally in violation of the 14th Amendment. Advocated shutting down mosques. Called for a ban on Muslims entering the U.S. Described global warming as a hoax perpetrated by the Chinese for competitive reasons. Responded to the murder of 49 people at Orlando's Pulse nightclub with Appreciate the congrats for being right on Islamic terrorism. Suggested the U.S. should reduce its debts by partially defaulting on them. Fraternizes with avowed white supremacists on Twitter. Called Mexican immigrants rapists. Endorsed torture. Refuses to sell any of his more than 500 businesses if he's elected potentially creating unprecedented conflicts of interest. Disparaged Senator John McCain's military service because he was captured by the North Vietnamese. Defended FDR's internment of Japanese Americans. Refused to release his tax returns during the campaign. Retweeted bogus crime statistics that wildly inflated the rate at which blacks kill whites. Suggested that supporters who attacked a homeless Hispanic man were very passionate and loved their country. Blamed sexual assault in the military on putting men and women together. Repeatedly suggested that President Obama might be a Muslim. Referred to Tiananmen Square demonstrations as a riot and said the Chinese government's response shows you the power of strength. Claimed he saw thousands of Muslims in New Jersey celebrating the 9-11 attacks. Doesn't know how many articles are in the Constitution. Called an attorney who requested a break to pump breast milk. Disgusting. Doesn't pay his bills. Proposed to change libel laws to make it easier to sue media organizations. Praised North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un. Barred reporters from campaign events for unfavorable coverage. Described Fox debate moderator Megan Kelly as having blood coming out of her wherever. Said, I could stand in the middle of Fifth Avenue and shoot somebody, and I wouldn't lose voters. Questioned President Obama's American citizenship, bringing the birther campaign into the mainstream. Named and threatened former students who criticized Trump University. Bragged about the size of his penis during a primary debate didn't immediately disavow an endorsement from KKK leader David Duke. Claimed he's donated one million dollars to veterans groups, although none received any money until reporters began investigating. Didn't know the meaning of the term Brexit less than a month before the UK referendum on leaving the EU. Called Elizabeth Warren, the Indian and Pocahontas. Posted a link to Facebook promoting the conspiracy theory that the Obama administration actively supported Al-Qaeda in Iraq. Founded Trump University, which a salesman called a fraudulent scheme that preyed upon the elderly and uneducated. Said, it doesn't really matter what the media write as long as you've got a young and beautiful piece of ass. Claimed he's donated $102 million to charity, although journalists have been unable to find evidence of any substantial donations. Refused to condemn anti-Semitic attacks on journalists. Told a female contestant on Celebrity Apprentice, that must be a pretty picture, you dropping to your knees. When Mexico sends its people, they're not sending their best. They're not sending you. They're not sending you. They're sending people that have lots of problems, and they're bringing those problems with us. They're bringing drugs, they're bringing crime, they're rapists, and some, I assume, are good people. 